Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm just gonna bring you along. I'm just gonna run errands, do all that. But yeah, let's get ready so we can go. So you can tell I haven't done anything, like my hair is still messy and whatnot. So let's put in our contacts so we can see. So I'm getting my hair done on the 13th. It is currently May 7th. You can't see it. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. It's currently May 7th and I'm getting my hair done on the 13th. So in a little less than a week, like a day less than a week. But you just know you're going to get a video of that. And look, I started wearing like little press on nails. You can't really tell that they're press on. Ignore like, okay, I'm not flipping you off, but like. My fingers crooked. Both of them are crooked. But, um, so ignore that. But look at my little press on nails. The only thing is this one is so thick. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah. Let's brush our teeth and brush our hair, wash our face, and then we'll do makeup. I don't know if you've seen some of my other videos or if this is your first video. If it is, hi, how are you? My name's Fanna. But, um, I have a few other videos like my skincare, and then I think some makeup videos I talked about my skincare, but it's changed just a little bit. This is the cleanser that I use. It's the hydrating facial cleanser because I noticed that I had a lot of dry skin right around my nose. I always thought I had oily skin, but like whenever I put on makeup, it's like flaking right around here. And then after I do this, like this is just morning, but after I do this cleanser right there, I put on this witch hazel. It's supposed to help with like redness, impurities, all that type of stuff. And then I used to use the Pond's um, moisturizer, but I ended up getting this one. It's the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Daily Moisturizer right here. I truly love this moisturizer. Like you only need a little bit. Like this is all I use right here. These four little drops. I put it in my little like fridge so it's cold, but um, this moisturizer literally i've noticed a difference ever since i started using this my face is way more hydrated it glows way more it's way softer at first i was a little iffy about it because i was like like it kind of leaves my skin looking oily because i have a hard time like deciding if i look oily or if i just look shiny because growing up i always had like oily skin so i never I never took into the fact that maybe I was just shiny. Maybe I was just glowing, you know? I always thought I was like oily. But with this moisturizer, like I'm like glowing. It has hyaluronic acid, jojoba seed oil, and then vitamin E. I'll just put it right here so you can see, even though that was blurry. I still have my ordinary products. I just use that at night just because I feel like with that, I definitely look oily. Like it's it's so much on my face in the morning and I don't want all that. So that's just my little three-step routine. I guess, yeah, no, my three-step routine that I do every morning. Now I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup. Like I don't wanna do anything crazy because I truly just like how I look with no makeup, like with mascara, obviously, because I just, that just looks better in my opinion whenever I have my lashes. But um, I don't know, I wanna try put something on use my brand new primer that I still haven't used but we'll see I'm also recording like a little TikTok because I'm rolling out this content all 2023 content but um I'm also recording a TikTok over there like on my other like phone oh my goodness okay let's just start out with that and see I don't know how much I'm going to need. Oh, it's definitely sticky. So you already saw like the skincare. I need my thing, but I don't want to get up and get it. You already saw my skincare. So you know it's all on my face. But like, okay. I'm still only going to do concealer. I'm literally covered up too because I'm cold. Okay, TikTok time. Now I'm gonna use my little concealer. 
So I finished my makeup and I finished my little TikTok. I'm going to insert my TikTok handle right here. So you can go watch it because it was kind of cute. It was like a minute long. But I mean, I liked it. I think it turned out really good. But now let's get going because I want to get this coffee. So I need to put on something. It's 82 degrees right now and it's raining apparently. So it's going to be hot and muggy and nasty outside. So I need to put on something for that. I don't know. I hate when this happens. Like after I do my makeup, my eye just starts hurting. I don't know why it starts hurting, but it just starts hurting and you can't really do anything about it because you just put on makeup. Like you can't rub it. You can't itch it. Nothing. So it's like, I don't know what to do. It's just hurting. Let me go check outside and see what the weather's like. Yeah, it's like muggy and nasty and I don't want to be outside at all. So I don't think I'm really going to do anything. I just need to go to the bank and then I want to get a coffee. But yeah, I don't want to be outside a lot. This is what's dangerous. I live like less than a mile away from a Starbucks. So I really can just come here whenever. Sorry about the way you work here. I have a mobile order for Savannah. Savannah? Yes. Uh, the shaking espresso? Yes. See you at the window. All right, thank you. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Hope you have a nice Sunday. You too, thank you. Thanks. Also, this looks so good. They literally put their heart and soul into this coffee. Like, that looks so good. I'm at the bank now, depositing some cash. You know, it honestly doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would. I'm at Walmart now. I don't know what I'm here for, but I'm here. So it's very hot now, like I'm sweating. So whenever I get to a point where I can show y'all, we'll see and we'll test out this makeup. We're gonna see if it stays through sweat because I'm sweating. Shouldn't have worn the sweatshirt, but what can you do? But um, I literally only got four things and it cost me like $32. Inflation is crazy, but um, I got a new charger because my charger isn't working, even though I bought that one like not even a month ago. Um, I got apple cider vinegar because I've heard a lot of stuff about it, really good, whatever. And then I got a scrub, like a sugar scrub, body scrub, whatever you want to call it, from Tree Hut, best scrubs. I love those, they all smell so good. And then I got, what else did I get? Got one more thing. Oh, I got more tampons. TMI, but I needed more tampons and I got those. Um, now I'm just gonna go home because I'm hot and I can't wait to get in this cold house. I haven't shown y'all what happened this past weekend. So we had like a tornado or something. I don't even know what it was. And look, right in front of my house, a tree fell. I don't know what to tell you about that, but like, look at that. That's insane. Not gonna lie, now that I'm like looking at it, I think it did pretty good with the heat and the sweat and everything. I can't tell if this is like my actual like cheeks that red or if it's the blush, but not bad, not bad at all. Also, I don't know what it is, but Miss Precious Girl has been like all over me these past few days. Like, if you know her, she's, like, kind of distant. Like, you'll see her every once every few days, and she'll, like, love on you then. But look at that. Like, she's following me. Won't leave me alone. I love it. I love you, my precious girl. I love you. She's so cute. But, um, yeah. I'm so nosy. So, I went to go put the camera up outside. So, I had to come back in here. So, I'm going to show you. There's, like, police outside. Look, watch. I don't know what's going on, but I'm trying to find out. I don't know how, but I'm gonna try. So I'm here just writing in my journal and um, I just had this, the strong urge to just put on like a sermon for just God's word and just to hear it. And especially with everything that I'm kind of like, not really dealing with, but um, kind of like thinking about, especially with I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I've really been looking for a new car because the car that I have now, it's an O2, so it's 
what, 21 years old, basically. The back windows are messed up. Um, there's no AC, there's no heat, no radio. It makes this weird noise. Um, and especially during like summertime, it, it gets hot. And um, I've really just been looking at a new car just because I've been working so hard to save up some money to get this car and to get a car, period. You know, I just don't know, like, if this is the right timing, should I wait a little bit? Because there's a, there's a car coming up. It's a 2018 Jeep Cherokee and I don't know. I don't know if this is like for me because I don't know any details on it. I really don't. But just all of a sudden, the guy that Eli got his car from, he's got a few cars that he's working on and like it's not posted anywhere. Like nobody knows about it, but he told Eli about it. And um, I don't know, like, I don't know if this is God putting me on the path of getting this car or if I should just wait and get one off of like Facebook or save up more money and go to a dealership or something. I just wanted to give thanks to like God for allowing this opportunity for me to even consider getting a car. I wake up every morning and I go to work and he's given me the opportunity to wake up and to have this job that I have now where I can make this money to afford a car and afford all the finer things in life. But I've really just been trying to figure out like, is this what I need to do? Is this is this the right path that I need to follow? Like, follow? And um, something just told me to put this sermon on. So that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just journaling, writing, and then just listening to the word of God, just uh, kind of clear my head and figure out like what I need to do. I could have sworn last time I was 2363.